All right, what's going on guys? We made it to Ginny Springs. Um, we just finished driving 15 hours in the car through the night, long drive. Um, we split it up between the both of us. We each only have like three to two hours of sleep, so we're both a little beat. But um, we just walked over, checked out the springs a little bit, checked out some of the little uh, caves that we're gonna be going to. I say little by the surface, meaning it looks small from the surface, but once you probably get in there, it's gonna be a lot bigger. Um, they go down really, really deep. Not exactly sure how deep they go down yet, but um, we're getting suited up right now and uh, we're gonna go, I guess, I don't wanna say send it because like, I wanna be very cautious and careful when I'm entering these kind of systems because I've never done anything like this before. So I'm gonna be very, very cautious. I'm gonna go down in increments of maybe like five to 10 feet of entering the cave, seeing how it all looks, kind of like mapping it out inside of my head, get making a couple trips down and up, down and up, just to, you know, get a reference of what it kind of looks like and scale it. So when I do actually want to go down and do a dive dive and see where I can go and explore a little bit of the cave, I know exactly how to make my way back up. So this stuff is no joke. Um, it'll be my first time, like I said, and um, me and Robert are pretty much almost suited up. We're gonna hit in the water right now. So let's do it. <laughs>
guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us dive Jenny Springs. Just a little bit of a recap for today. So as you can see behind me, this is where the uh, devil's eye is. You have the ear. I don't know if they call this the mouth or something like that. And then you just have a little ravine over there. But these two initial caves right here are connected to each other through a little tunnel system or what you would call a cave system. Uh, me and Rob dove into this one today, venturing our way back a little bit into the opening of the cave, which you'll, you saw in the video. And then we went over there to the ear where there was a forceful amount of spring water pushing us up through the top of the, the exit, essentially, as we were trying to swim down through there. So it was extremely hard to swim down through there. It was a really eerie feeling seeing the river kind of collide with the spring water. You, you get this like musky, dark tan color colliding with this crystal clear spring water. It's kind of a kind of a weird feeling, like just seeing that like it's like chemicals attacking like crystal clear water. But then we made our way down to the ballroom over there and uh, we dove around a little bit in there and ended up making it probably like 30 feet away from the grate, which you saw in the video. Um, all in all, Jimmy Springs is like a miracle in real life. Like this is like a summer wonderland like it's it's honestly crazy amazing if you're a diver so um ended up finding a couple of beer bottles and some toys and stuff in the water put them over there on the rocks we'll have to go pick those up actually and um no like like i said it's just an amazing spring um we're gonna be checking out the blue hole spring i can't really pronounce the name it's it's a, it's a company or something like that it's uh an hour that hour south so we're gonna hit that and then hit devil's den in two days so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you ever get the opportunity to come to jenny springs and go diving here whether or not it's just snorkeling or just being able to see this beautiful water for yourself come check it out like always like subscribe comment and um thanks for watching peace